Hey guys, this is Radan. Welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today I have created a really, really cool concept in vanilla Minecraft 1.12 using, again, lots of command blocks, as you can see behind me. There's a really big line of command blocks. So what I have made today is not an actual creation, is, as I said, a concept. And this is, as you saw from the title and thumbnail of this video, shadows, realistic shadows in vanilla Minecraft. So in Minecraft, in normal Minecraft, we have actual shadows. And these, those are the this circle that you can see under a player but this shadow here doesn't change depending on where is the position of the sun so it doesn't change depending on uh, whether it is morning or it is uh, afternoon in minecraft so what i wanted today to make today is actual shadows that change depending on the direction of the sun so yeah let me show you guys how it works as you can see i have a scoreboard objective here that checks what is the time and as i change it for example if i set the time to 1000 you can see that it changes as well. So, first of all, let me stop the time and uh, I'll do it by using the game rule and then do daylight cycle and then I set it to false. Now you can see that the time doesn't pass anymore. So, let me set the time to 1000. The sun is here. And as you can see, this is the shadow. Sadly, I had to use particles and there is also another method of uh, displaying this shadow here, but it is a bit different. So, let's use the wither shadow. So, um, as you can see, I have an actual circle shadow that is exactly like the shadows that entities generate uh, when they are on the ground. Now, um, in Minecraft 1.12, I have no idea why the invisible horse breed doesn't exist anymore. So, basically, I could have used uh, that invisible horse breed so I didn't have all of these wither particles and wither health bar. But sadly, since this doesn't work, I had to use withers with a really special data tag. So basically, they are really, really small, al almost invisible. I don't even know if I can see it here. Yeah, it's there. You can see it. It's exactly like, yeah, there on my crosshair. You can see that that is the wither. It is really, really small. But still, it has a really big shadow. So I have used the shadow of that wither to represent shadow of players. And as you can see, as I move, the shadow moves together with me. If I go up, you can see that the shadow goes far, f far from my position, as you can see. And this is all relative to where is the sun in your world. So now if you take a look and just pay attention at, at the shadow here, if I set the time to 2000, for example, 2500, you can see that the shadow now changed. It is closer to me. This is because the position of the, position of the sun also changed. So if I go to 3500, you can see that it gets even closer and it is exactly relative to the position of the sun. If I set the time to 4500, it gets even closer, almost uh, under me, almost under me. It's not yet under me. But if I set it to midday, which is 6000, you can see that now the sun is exactly on the top 90 degrees with the, uh, the earth, with the ground. And as you can see now the shadow is exactly at the bottom. So this is what makes these shadows uh, really realistic in vanilla Minecraft. And as I said guys, it doesn't have to be useful for something. This is just a concept that I wanted to show you guys. And yeah, I worked a bit at it and I'm happy to see that <laughs> I finally done it and that it works. So now that it is becoming afternoon, also the shadow now will not be shown in that direction. But it will go in that direction there because the sun will go in the opposite way. So if I put the if I set the time to 8500 maybe you will see that the shadow changes and if I get closer to to the ground my shadow gets closer to me just like the shaders mod uh, it's something closer to that but of course it it's not as fluid as it is it is just a concept as I said guys so now if I go in game mode 3 let me show you guys how it works you can see that there are a lot of entities here so let me just do scoreboard objectives so if I go in game mode 3 you can see that there are lots of armor stands that are summoned relative to me. When those armor stands reach the ground, a wither boss is summoned, which will generate the actual particle. So since since in Minecraft we are really slow, there are only 20 ticks per second, it takes a bit of time for the actual armor stands to reach the ground since they don't go with the speed of light. So yeah, if those armor stands had the speed of light, they would have represented 100% realistic shadows just like in real life, but sadly it doesn't. So we will have a delay 
in our shadow actually even in real life we have a delay with the shadow but we don't see it because the speed of flight is well really really fast so how does it work that scoreboard objective there checks what is the time of the day and if the time changes of course these armor sense here they will get a different uh, motion tag so if i set the time to a bigger number to 10,000, for example you will see that now the armor sense get a different motion effect they will go further from my body and of course relative to the sun they will generate another type of shadow so i hope that you guys are getting the idea and now let me go back in game mode zero uh actually game mode one and let me set the game rule where is it let me just make the time where is it yeah if, uh, yeah it's here let's set it to true so now basically the, the sun moves again and now using this command block here i am going to manually make the time go faster by adding 30 game ticks every game tick basically uh the, the time will go 30 times faster so if i do this you will see that the sun will go a lot f faster and let me just show you guys let me set the time back to 1000 which is the initial one and yeah if i get closer you can see now that the shadow will change as the sun moves oh yeah the wither boss is pushing me so when it is midday the yeah the shadow is beneath you and now that is getting yeah you see that the sun is almost setting the shadow will uh, be far just like in real life so yeah guys that was pretty much it about this video let me set it back to 1000 and yeah this works also not only for players but also you can apply it to other entities i didn't want to do it now because it would probably cause a bit of lag and yeah as you can see i, ha I can change between why is it not working oh yeah you can i can change it between uh the wither shadow or just particles that show where the shadow should be now yeah as i said sadly the invisible horse breed doesn't exist anymore in minecraft 1.12 i have no idea why um i could have used that one if it worked because basically i would have had an invisible entity that still showed the shadow now you guys might ask why don't you use just a normal horse and make it invisible using command blocks just like the invisibility effect well if you do that also the shadow disappears so yeah what i need is is exactly that horse breed that is invisible but still shows the shadow but yeah since we don't have it i had to use wither bosses and yeah it's a bit different but still it represents what i wanted to make so yeah guys that was pretty much it about today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did so don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you all guys in the next video see you bye